Right, hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to change the SIM pin code in the awesome unit. The awesome unit is controlled by the Arduino computers, Arduino computer, and these, this is one of the computers. In fact, this could be the very one that I'll be shipping out to you uh, through Mike. Um, these are fantastic little computers. They do tremendous amounts of work and can take a huge amount of abuse. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, anyway, to change the software, we just have to do two things. Uh, first of all, set it all up, and secondly, change the code. Can't be simpler, can it? <laughs> well, uh, not quite true. Um, setting it up is actually four steps, and changing the code is eight steps. So, the 12 steps altogether in reality. But they're short, they're small, we can take it. Right, let's go through them one by one. Right, now we come to the second part, actually changing the software. There are eight steps, um, and you can see a summary of this on the website. First of all, plug unit 3888 into the variable template, Vero template board. So just to remind you, this is what the SIM kit, pin kit looked like. And this was, is, is in components. So this is the, the template, the, the Vero template. So we take the awesome computer and plug it in like that. That's number one. Number two. Plug in the four cables to the top of that unit. Well, that's the computer, and that's the top of the unit, and there's four pins on the top there, and there happens to be four wires. So we very carefully put four wires onto the top. Now, I would suggest you make the blue uh, the ground. Um, it doesn't matter which way around you, you put them, but that is what I would suggest. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. So there you have, if I can point, you have GND, ground, VCC, which is voltage in, RX, I receiving, and that's a TX line. And they are the colours associated with that. So blue is ground, just remember that. Blue wire is ground in this particular case. Right, let's move back out. So we've done that, we've plugged in the four colour cable to the top of 388. Now we are plugging the four colour cable into the converter. Where is the converter? Here is the converter, and we've got four pins coming out of that, and we need to plug these fours in. Now, which is ground? It's very difficult to see, so I've actually labelled it on the back, and the ground is that one there. So I'll have to take my hand off the camera for this. Well, there we are. The four wires are plugged into the converter and the ground, GND, is the blue. The VCC is the red, which is VCC is the red. Now we come on to the gray. Let's say the gray, the RX. Can you see that? The RX, which is grey. Now, this is particularly confusing. Why? Because here on the converter, the RX goes to the TX. So the grey actually goes to the transmitter. So, which makes sense when you think about it, because this is transmitting on the grey cable to the computer which is receiving. So we cross connect those. Um, those two grey and white wires. Um, which luckily they're in the same order. So it's much easier. So that's that. Next thing we have to do, I mentioned the cross connection there. Plug the small end of the USB cable into the converter. 
So this is the USB cable and we plug it into there. So we plug the small end of the USB cable into the converter. So that little arrow is pointing to the PC. And guess what happens now? Well, we plug the USB cable into the Windows 10 PC. So we get the other end of the cable, which is that one, and we plug it into the PC like that. Now as soon as we do that, that light will come on and you might <laughs> might see that flashing. I don't know whether you saw that. Just flash once and it will flash every 30 seconds, which is rather a long time to wait. But there we go. Right, now we can see what it is doing. Um, I must say, just put it on a put it on a piece of paper so it doesn't short out the back of the board, because if that shorts out, we're in trouble again. Right, uh, we can see what it's doing. If we, now we plug it into the computer. We can go open the Arduino software. We can go up to Tools, and we can see slide over to the COM port and select a COM port that wasn't there before, which is COM port eight in this particular case. Um, yeah what else is important the processor is the 80 mega 328p 5 volts 16 megahertz and then the board we have to select the board which is arduino pro or mini pro so selected all of those and clicked OK. It will be possible to go up here into the little spyglass serial monitor and a little window will come up. But in 30 seconds we will see some response from this unit as it tries to, there we go. Oh, that's it. So what's it doing? It's saying the maximum temperature is nearly 450 centigrade. Um, the battery voltage is 9.8 volts. Pump count is 5. Work day is 0. And the power time is 5. So it's been on 5 lots of 30 seconds. So it's now it's been on 6. So divide that by 2 gives you 3. So this little unit has been on for 3 minutes. Um, Temperature is obviously incorrect. Everything is incorrect, um, or most things are incorrect. Why? Because this is not the real box. This is just a template, just to make sure that it works and it flashes and we can control it. Right, I'm kind of getting off the pace here. So we have plugged the cable in. We've seen the software working. Um, now we've got to scroll down to line... 777. If we scroll down to line 777 and we change the pin code, then we click File and Save. So, whilst that is still clicking away, as you can see, we go over to here and scroll down to 777 which is around here somewhere now I try to make it fairly obvious by putting these big bars of, of hashes so this is the bit that we have to change and it's this number here please don't change anything else if you change anything else even the commas to full stops it will just stop working and that'll be it so it's just that so we go into here click and we click backspace one, two, three, four, and then we type in a new number. One, two, three, four, or whatever number it is that you want. Um, then do not hit return, because if you hit return, that's what happens. It 
goes down. So we just enter the new number and then we go up to file and then we click save. And it should go down here and then it should say done saving. Now I didn't really want to do that. I've forgotten what that is. Oh I know what it will be. <laughs> it's on the bottom of this three it's on the bottom of this one. Three four eight eight. I made it the same code. So I'll change this back to three four eight eight and file and save. Right, that was item six done. We've scrolled to line 777, put the real SIM code in, clicked file and save. Good. What have we got to do now? Now, on this sketch on the computer, I have to upload. Now this is going to be fairly fast because as soon as you see the uploading in the bottom left hand side of the screen, immediately we press the, the, the button on the Arduino computer. Where is the button on the computer? There it is. It is that red button there, or as he says, that red button there. So as soon as we press the various buttons here, as soon as that starts to say uploading, we have to press that red button. So you've got to go to sketch and here we go, upload. Now down there we will see compiling. Oh, don't press too soon. Compiling, compiling, compiling. Upload, press button. Now, as soon as you press the button, that will start flashing vigorously, which is fantastic, which means it's transmitting all your code and it stops. As soon as it's transmitted all your code, this will then go back to normal flashing once every 30 seconds again um, and we can see what the computer's doing by going up to the top right hand corner again and pressing that little thing little spyglass and this will come up and it will tell us what it's doing there we go once again temperature nearly 500 centigrade 10 volt battery all ridiculousness um, but at least it's working, it's giving us some information. And on this, so all, all it is, just a few wires, that's what it can do. When it's in the real thing, of course, when it's in here, it will start to make sense and it will give us the correct information. Now that you have uploaded the SIM pin. Um, let's go back here. Now what do we say? We say save it all and close it down um, then we've got to follow the instructions on the uh, for the other unit and plug it in your updated computer into the new into the awesome unit 888 and that is it and if you've done all that that is fantastic okay so Let's summarise what has been achieved. Um, if I've got everything right, if I've put everything right in the, in the various steps. We have set up a new computer system. We've downloaded uh, some software. We've installed the software. We've got some software from UK. We've opened it up. We've changed that software. We've saved the code and we've downloaded it to, to these these wonderful little computers um, and then of course we've just plugged them into the awesome unit and hopefully it will all work <laughs> forever the optimist anyway thanks ever so much for watching and the very best of luck and please don't hesitate to to, uh, to whatsapp or, or call um, and I'll see if I can improve the the guide okay cheers bye bye